Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add or subtract dissimilar fractions. We have a lot of videos about dissimilar fractions, but a lot of people or subscribers are requesting na gumawa tayo ng panibagong video about dissimilar fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is first, second, and later on, we still have two more examples. Ngayon, ang reason bakit sila tinawag ng dissimilar fractions is simply because they have different denominators. This one is 4 and 6. All the other examples, it has 8 and 5 as their denominators. So, medyo mahirap nga talagang mag-add or subtract ng fractions kapag magkaiba ang denominators. So, ano yung first step na gagawin natin? First step that we need to do is to identify what is the least common denominator between 4 and 6. In that case kasi, magiging parehas yung kanilang denominator. The LCD of 4 and 6 is definitely equal to 12. Ito yung gagamitin natin throughout the process. So, gagawin nyo dito, lalagay nyo lang yun dito sa ilalim. 12. And then, this, this new denominator or less common denominator will be divided first in your original denominators. Let's go. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Again, let me repeat myself. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then multiply it to your numerator. Times 1, that is equal to 3. Copy your operation. Next, divide it here. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. Then multiply it to your numerator. That is equal to 6. So let me repeat. 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 3. That is equal to 6. And then you're going to add your numerators. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Then copy 12. Now, in the operation of fractions, you're required to express your final answer in simplest form or in lowest terms. This 9 and 12 can be simplified. Okay? What we need to do is to divide your numerator and denominator by 3. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Then 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. This is now the final answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. In this case, this one is subtraction naman. 7 over 8 minus 2 over 5. Your denominators are 8 and 5. So, what is LCD? The LCD is equal to 40. The least common denominator is 40. So, you will place it here. By the way, if... Hindi nyo pa alam kung paano kumuha ng LCD, guys. You can watch our videos. Search nyo lang dyan. Um, list common denominator by teacher go. Ano kaya sa iba pang mga YouTube creators. So, we have 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5 times 7. That is 35. Then minus 40 divided by 5 is 8 times 2. That is 16. Again, 40 divided by 5 is 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Add the numerator, uh, subtract the numerators. 35 minus 16 is how many? The answer is 19. And then copy your denominator, which is 40. And this one is already in lowest terms. So our answer right now is 19 over 40. So I hope na sa first two examples pala natin, you already know or you're getting the concept on how to add or subtract the similar fractions. So let's move on with item number three. Now for number three, I will allow you to do it first. You can pause the video for a while and try item number three. Okay, let's continue. 
So here, we have 5 over 6 plus 2 over 9. Okay? So, our denominators are 6 and 9. Now, what is the least common denominator between these numbers? Their LCD is 18. It will, place, it will be placed here, 18. Then, don't forget to divide, then multiply. Divide, then multiply. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Times 5 is equal to 15. 18 divided by 9 is 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. Add the numerators, we have 15 plus 4, which is 19. Copy your 18. And as you can see, in our answer, we have 19 over 18, which is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So what we need to do, is we need to convert this into improper fraction. By the way, the improper fraction of this, I will convert it already. This one is equal to 1 and 1 over 18. So, paano nangyari yan? Ganto lang siya. Turo ko sa inyo. So, we have here uh, your 19 inside this box and your uh, divisor is 18. So what will happen is 19 divided by 18 is 1. 1 times 18 is 18. Subtract this. 19 minus 18 is 1. So paano yan? This one, or the quotient at the top, is your numerator. Ito siya. Your remainder, oh, sorry, this one, your quotient is the whole number. Yeah, sorry for that. This is the whole number. Ito siya. Next, itong remainder natin dito will be your numerator. And lastly, your div original divisor is still your denominator. That's why meron tayong sagot dito 19 over 18 saka 1 and 1 over 18. So 19 over 18 or 1 and 1 over 18. So what we have here number 4, I already solved the problem because na cut yung ating video. So what we have here, uh, we have 7 and 11 as our denominators. So definitely the LCD is 7 to 7. Now, place it here and then divide 7 to 7 divided by 7 is 11 times 5, that will be 55, minus 77 divided by 11 is 5. Ah, sorry. So what we have here in number 4, nagawa na yung solution niya because nakat yung ating video. So what we have here is that we have our denominators as 7 and 11. So our LCD is 77. Now, place it here. Don't forget to divide and multiply. 7 to 7 divided by 7 is 11 times 5. The product is 55 minus 7 to 7 divided by 11. That would be 7 times 5. That is 35. So what we have here is 55 minus 35, which is 20. Copy this denominator 7 to 7. And as you can see, 20 and 7 to 7 are already in simplified form. So this is our final answer, guys. 20 over 77. Now, I will give you an activity as part of our routine here on our channel. For number 5, I will give you this problem. Wait for a while, I will write the problem for you. So what we have is, I want you to add 6 over 11 plus... 2 over 3. And for number 6, I hope na magawa nyo to. For number 6, I will allow you to answer 2 over 4 minus 2 over 11. That's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to add or subtract the similar fractions. Kung meron kayong tanong about 
our topic or gusto nyong i-request, feel free to comment down below. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!